Hey guys, um, we're going to be looking at um, using log properties when differentiating. Uh, best shown with a couple of examples, so let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with um, differentiating this function here, ln of x plus 2 divided by x. So for those of you that might have forgotten some of the log rules, if you have ln of a divided by b, this could be written as ln of a minus ln of b. So that's basically what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to split up y as ln of x plus 2 minus ln of x. Once I do that, differentiating this becomes quite straightforward because dy dx then would equal, what have we got? I've got 1 divided by x plus 2 minus 1 divided by x. Okay. Simplifying this, I would get x minus x plus 2 divided by x times x plus 2. I can simplify this a bit further and I would get this here. What do we got? And this would equal negative 2 over x squared plus 2x. Now the reason I kind of didn't um, normally I would actually differentiate this part and this part but both of those times it was going to be 1 so I kind of skipped that step um, I, I can see that it was when I differentiated it, it would equal 1. Yeah, so that's how you do one of these ones where you use the log properties for differentiating. I'll show you guys one more example just so that you get the idea. Okay, this time I want to look at um, differentiating ln of 5x times 3x plus 1. So once again, log property where if you have ln of ab, this is equal to ln of a plus ln of b. So I know that I could rewrite this function as two separate ones. So in other words, y would equal ln of 5x plus ln of 3x plus 1. Now once I have it separated, I know I could actually differentiate it. So dy dx would equal, well first I've got to differentiate ln of 5x. So I differentiate whatever's inside the bracket first. In this case, when I differentiate 5x, I would get 5. And that's multiplied by 1 over 5x, as that's what we do for log differentiation. Plus, I differentiate whatever's inside this bracket here, which is 3x plus 1. So if I differentiate it, I would get 3. And that's multiplied by 1 over 3x plus 1. Okay. Simplifying this further, I would get 5 divided by 5x plus 3 over 3x plus 1. Both of my phi's, they're going to cancel out each other, which leaves 1 over x plus 3 divided by 3x plus 1. I don't need to go any further, guys. I can actually stop here. And that's how you differentiate using log properties. All right, so just remember your, I think there's about three log properties that you got to remember. And they definitely will help you out when you want to differentiate these types of functions. All right. That's it from this session. Thanks for watching.